Before we continue further, it's a good idea to look at uh, what are the fundamental concepts and what we are trying to achieve uh, by um, describing the systems in uh, using statistical methods. So in the fundamental concepts, we are basically uh, using probability ideas to describe macroscopic systems in a systematic way. Uh, probability is an, an other name for re relative frequency of an event, if you remember, and it is related to the number of configurations a macro state corresponds to. Uh, so the, no the more the number of configurations, the higher the likelihood of obtaining that macro state. And this uh, implied at equilibrium, for example, we have the most random situation, its randomness. And um, for example, we have uh, the randomness uh, required in the equilibrium configuration. Uh, on the other hand, the distribution of energy uh, at equilibrium uh, gives us the most random distribution of uh, energy, uh, and which is related to the absolute temperature. So this is uh, something that is related to average uh, kinetic energy per molecule. This, that's what we have seen. And Another important um, concept or uh, an important task in this uh, um, course is basically to describe, uh, given that we have a random distrib dist an energy distributed randomly over molecules, how can we transfer this energy to produce some useful outputs? Uh, so basically to make the uh, energy concentrate. Uh, things like steam engines and uh, biological processes where we go to an orderly uh, state. How can we explain uh, these uh, phenomena? So, um, energy transfer mechanisms, steam engines, uh, biological, explain how biological processes uh, work, etc. Uh, then we have uh, systems in equilibrium. By using the statistical methods, we obtain an estimate uh, for uh, equilibrium values of some macroscopic parameters like pressure, temperature, and volume. So in homogeneous substances like liquids or gases, uh, we would like to know how these macroscopic parameters vary as a function of uh, each other. Uh, so this is for, uh, for example, liquids and gases, uh, etc. Uh, we, we, we find the relationship between macroscopic parameters. Uh, for magnetic systems, for example, if you have a system that's containing iron atoms, uh, Another macroscopic parameter of interest is magnetization. Uh, magnetization M uh, is magnetic moment per volume. So we would like to know how this uh, changes with temperature, with the applied magnetic field, or with the volume. Um, another uh, macroscopic uh, parameter is temperature, absolute temperature that we can uh, measure. So we would like to know how uh, the temperature changes as a function of the heat absorbed. So as a result of heat transfer, how we can describe temperature change. Um, again, the speed distribution within the molecules of a gas. So this we're going to uh, discuss in more uh, detail later on. Uh, that's Maxwell uh, distribution uh, that applies to uh, to gases, for example. Um, another 
macroscopic parameter we're looking at is the energy inside the cavity due to photons in equilibrium with the walls of the container. Uh, how does the energy uh, depend on the frequency of the uh, photons? So that is photons in equilibrium. Um, inside a cavity uh, when it comes to chemical reactions at a given temperature at the equilibrium situation for example if you have this reaction to carbon dioxide uh, producing two carbon monoxide plus oxygen gas um, in this reaction, when we have equilibrium, what is the fraction of uh, carbon monoxide, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, etc.? So that's the equilibrium description. And as the temperature uh, and pressure is adjusted, we find that there can be a phase change process. For example, solids can turn into liquids, liquids can turn into uh, gases. So we have melting and uh, vaporization, etc. So uh, all of these processes that involve uh, many atoms and molecules uh, operating in, uh, in a cooperation, basically, we, we call it cooperative phenomenon, uh, we can describe at what critical temperature and pressure can two phases coexist. Okay, so critical um, pressure and temperature for phase change, for example. A phase change we mean solid, melting, liquid, vaporization, gas, etc. Uh, so the, there will be a critical values for pressure and temperature that gives us these uh, phase changes. Um, if the system is in, in a time has a time dependent process, it's in non equilibrium. Generally, the uh, the parameter of interest is the time needed to reach equilibrium. That's relaxation time, tau. Uh, it's the time needed to reach equilibrium. If we start with some uh, composition, uh, some mixture of chemicals, and uh, we are looking at the reaction of this uh, mixture of chemicals, then we're interested in the chemical reaction rate. Um, again, if we have a thermal contact between a hot body and cold body, then we're interested in uh, how long it takes for the heat to flow from the hot body to the cold body to reach equilibrium. So we're interested in the thermal um, conduction process uh, parameters like thermal uh, conductivity are of interest. Okay, so uh, by using these statistical uh, methods, uh, we can tackle many important problems of macroscopic physics so in summary we're using probability ideas to describe macroscopic systems in a systematic way which is based on the number of configurations for a given macrostate we can define important concepts such as randomness and absolute temperature to describe uh, the equilibrium conditions uh, and the later one randomness is basically related to the maximum number of configurations or highest probability situation. Absolute temperature is related to the average kinetic energy per molecule. And uh, another important concept is energy transfer processes to produce useful outputs, for example, in steam engines and biological processes. 
then we can describe equilibrium state of systems. Uh, for homogeneous systems, we can describe a relationship between macroscopic parameters such as pressure, temperature and volume. If the system is magnetic, this can be magnetization as a function of temperature, as a function of magnetic field or volume. Uh, the heat transfer processes, uh, how much a temperature increase results uh, uh, as, a, as the substance absorbs heat, a certain amount of heat, for example. The speed distribution within the molecules of a gas, Maxwell distribution. The energy as a function of frequency inside a cavity due to photons in equilibrium with the walls of a container that's called black body radiation. In a chemical reaction at a given temperature, um, what is the fraction of the chemicals in the gas mixture at equilibrium uh, situation? And also we have cooperative phenomena, phase change processes. Uh, we can find what are the critical macroscopic parameters, pressure and temperature, in order to obtain a phase change. Uh, or for two phases to coexist. And for systems that are not in equilibrium, usually we're interested in the time needed to reach equilibrium, the relaxation time. Uh, for uh, chemical reactions, what is the rate of the chemical reaction? And for heat conduction processes, uh, how long does it take for the heat to flow from hot to cold body until equilibrium is reached? Uh, important parameters like uh, thermal conductivity.